What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video today. Today's video, we're gonna start this vlog out here in the Duramax again. And oh, you like my glasses? Well, thank you. I actually got these glasses for free. Uh, they were left in my garage. I think, uh, I don't know, it said uh, D-Max Rhino on them. So uh, D-Max Rhino, thank you, man. I appreciate the glasses. Uh, they're, they, they fit comfortable, you know, I like them. I'm not sure if they're polarized. Do I see a glare? Uh, I'm not really, you know, having it because I like polarized glasses only, but I mean, they were free, so I appreciate that, Rhino. Thank you, guys. But today's video, we're going to go check out this new build. All right, we're pulling to this house. So Anthony has gotten rid of his Camaro, if you guys remember him, and he had, he's the one with the uh, drifter. Oh, looks like he's using the truck. He's got some drifter tires in there. There's his drifter car right there. Oh, 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 I see him peeking. I see him peeking. Oh, I see something there. Let's get out and see what he's got in there. We have arrived, guys. Look, if you guys remember this, this is the car that Anthony took me in. And while I was eating a donut, we were doing some donuts. Now, the wing is new. The swing wasn't on here. Woo, baby. Damn, look at that. We got the color match hood now, too. Damn, she's looking sweet. So if you guys remember, Anthony had the Camaro, and well, uh, what happened, bro? No more Camaro. I needed did a you, tow did rig. You, did you finally come up to the, uh, came up, stepped up to the Duramax game, huh? I was thinking, guys, too, so I bought the Hellcat because, you know, he had a Camaro, a bunch of my friends bought, you know, their Mustangs and, and Chargers, and now all of my friends, including him, have you, your Camaro's gone, right? Yeah. You got rid of it. So the Camaro's gone. My other buddy got rid of his uh, Mustang, and uh, my other buddy had the 392 uh, Charger, and he sold it and bought a truck. So now it's just pretty much me. And you guys ask me, you know, why, you know, Eddie, where's the Hellcat? Why don't I drive it? Well, I bought that car just to go on drives, like to, uh, you know, up through Julian, through the roads, and, you know, for all of us to he, just listen, cruise he out. He bought it because I had a faster car than him, so he oh. had to go get a Hellcat. And then now that I don't have one, it's useless. I did, yeah. I, I had the 392, and then but, he had, you know, the Camaro. And... He got a Can-Am, so I had to one-up Yes, him yeah. So if you guys remember, me and him are constantly just going at it head-to-head-to-head. To head to head. <laughs> so pretty much, I, you know, he, his, his Camaro was gone now, so I'm probably going to put my Hellcat for sale just because... I haven't driven it in months, and uh, I'll show you guys the new Denali later, but yeah, he bought the new Razor Turbo S. You guys saw my last desert video when he blew the turbo gasket, right? Yeah. So he, he was trying to race to me, and well, I mean, obviously that's what happened when he tried to keep up with the Can-Am, but so he got upset. It was too close. It was. It was too close. So he, he just pretty much gave me the finger, and he, can, he comes out with this. I go, okay, you know what? This isn't fair. So now, I mean, there's just... We got a lot of projects coming up, guys, you know, but between Ryan's truck, you know, his SEMA truck when he pulled in my garage, and now, you know, Anthony over here pulling up with this. So we're putting an LS7 sequential five-speed in here. Dude, this thing is going to be, I mean, what's the horsepower in this? Uh, it's like a little over 700. A little over 700, natural aspirate, no supercharger, no turbo. No. So, all right, you should be able to keep up with my Can-Am then. If not, you'll oh, oh. be right there. If not, i got to get the bigger one. Yeah, okay, so... You see, guys, that, that's why, you know, like like Rhino was saying, you know, it's hard hanging out with friends like me or him or, or him. I mean, it's pretty much a nonstop, you know, I mean, and, and it's only getting worse, I've noticed, you know, because me and him used to race RC cars. Uh, started with RC cars. Yeah, it started with RC cars, I don't know, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, maybe older than that. And I mean, it, it, it got to a point where it was so bad that me and him were dumping over two grand in our RC cars. Oh, yeah. And it never stopped. It started there. It never stopped. And, you know, now, I mean, oh, geez, this thing is a monster. I mean, fuck, it's beautiful. Triple bypass Fox shocks. These are the new ones. They're factory series, by the way. Okay. Now, what color are you making these? I'm going your, to your... do black. Black cage or? Black frame. Black frame. I'm going to do a painted black body. Okay. And then I want to do, like... Cherry red arms and like uh, black. Oh, you can be like Candy 2.0? Is that what he has? Five hundred. On on, on uh, Nick's razor. Oh yeah yeah. Candy 2.0. Similar to that yeah. So and these are what like 37, 38 inches tall? Yeah, they're they're a 36 inch tire, but if you measure them out, they're like 37. Jeez. Same with the rear. Got the methods on there. Got uh, fuel cell, 24 gallon fuel cell. 
I got a sway bar. Yeah, I saw that. I like that. So there, there's going to be some big buco money going in this car right here. I mean, sequential. I don't know. Uh, you know, for you guys that are that are in the desert and know about the desert, and well, I mean, you guys understand and you guys know how much it costs to number one just get out to the desert, and number two just start building. I mean, cars like this. I mean, this is. Let's just say you can buy probably four, eh, maybe three of my Can-Ams for the price of this one car once it's done. Once he's got, you know, his, his motor, his transmission, you know, you do rims, your tires, your electrical, you know, screen. I mean, all, it just keeps adding up. Yeah, all that stuff. I mean, it adds up like just crazy, crazy amount. I mean, even his drifter car over there, he is like, I mean, he tells me I'm like way in it than I want it to be. Yeah. I mean now, I mean, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna you're gonna have to keep that thing. Yeah, probably. I it's mean, fun, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I gotta admit, it was fun doing donuts. But I mean, this thing. When do you think will this be ready this season or no? Next season. Next yeah. season. Yeah, it's, it's too uh, it. too naked right now. Well, um, if you guys are interested, comment down below. I'll keep you updated on this car. Or when are you get in the motor? I have it. Oh, you have it? Well, shit. When are we gonna start working on it? I gotta take powder coat and then. Okay, so I'll keep you guys updated. You guys know I love this kind of shit right here. I mean, if it was up to me, I would love building these cars all day and putting motors in them. I, I, I this, this is like a game to me. It's a toy. It's, it's fun. You know, it's not a. I don't consider it work. Cause the outcome of this car, I mean, is gonna be incredible. This thing is probably. I mean, how, what do you plan on doing to keep the front wheels on, on the ground? Put like a dumbbell rack in the front. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that's why right here you got it so big. Yeah. You'll rack up all, all stack all your dumbbells up right yeah. here. And this is, I told him make it extra big, give you the love taps. Oh, no. Nah, okay, maybe push me up the hill a little bit. <laughs> Damn, this thing is, is crazy, guys. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I, should I start building a, a buggy? There's a couple pros and a couple cons to this because... The pro, I mean, obviously there's a lot of pros. Horsepower, you know, suspension, torque, uh, you know, drivability. I mean, it, it's nonstop. The only really con that I see in this is, number one, it's not going to fit in my toy hauler. <laughs> At, like, not even close. <laughs> and number two, when these things break, just, uh, uh, like, you know when you take your pocket inside out? Pull your pocket inside out because yeah. it's going to cost you some pretty amount uh you know good 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 dollars it's it's not cheap that's what i'm trying to say is nothing on these cars are cheap when something breaks just get ready to spend money and that's the bottom line you know i mean if you damage a shock like this i mean i'm not gonna even ask them how much these shocks were but i know they're extremely expensive or god forbid something goes wrong with that sequential transmission i mean whoo Explain to them, uh, Anthony, what is a sequential? What's the difference between a sequential and a regular transmission? Because I'm sure some people are okay, kind of so confused on the sequential, difference. Sequential, it's just like uh, like up and down. So usually in a dune buggy, you're gonna have like an H pattern, which first, just like a traditional. Yeah, or a car, anything. Yeah. So sequential, uh, people get into when, when they want to get into higher horsepower because they, they shift fast, they shift really fast. So all you have to do is hit the clutch, and pull it back, and you go up to the next gear. So pretty much, guys, the sequential, yeah, it is just up, 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 down, down, down. That's it. You don't have your, you know, first, second, then your third come up, over, and up. It's just up, 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 down, down, down. Yeah. And that's, I mean, shit. Fast shifting. Fast shifting, yeah. But, you know, now your next question is probably, why doesn't everybody get that? Well, I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna ask him how much it is because I know how much this thing is. Oh, it's right there. And I mean, these things are not cheap at all. I mean, these sequentials. Probably almost a can -Am. Yeah, it, it, almost, yeah, you're right about there. That, that transmission costs almost as much as my Can-Am to give you guys an idea. I mean, they are no joke, but they're, you know, the best transmissions, yeah, bulletproof, badass. You get, you know, massive horsepower out or you can pump massive horsepower in this car. Because, I mean, if you go with a, you know, regular, say, Mendiola 4D or something, you're going to grenade it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's and what do, you, what do you put, 934 CVs on this? Yeah, 934. Yeah, so, I mean, this, this car is going to be built pretty much extremely big, extremely strong. I don't like to work on stuff with the desert. Yeah, and he's going to put a lot of time and a lot, a lot of money in this thing. 
to make it bulletproof. And then hopefully I will show you guys his dad's car. His dad's car is like, this is like a Tonka toy compared to his dad's car. Dad's car I mean, the horsepower in that thing isn't like 1,200 or something. I think he's going to probably 1,500. 1,500 horsepower. And I know, but that car is in uh, Arizona. Yeah. And we'll we'll see that car. They, they come to the desert with us, but we will... Uh, We'll get together and I'll show you guys. I can't wait to see this car, but I can't wait to see his dad's car. His dad's car is the one that there was a motor here sitting here. I don't know if you guys remember the video where I told you it had a sticker on it and it said it will void the motor if it's anything. I think it said uh, above 1100 horsepower, 1200 horsepower. Void warranty if over 1200. Yeah, void warranty over 1200 horsepower. So, you know, he's pushing about 1500. Uh, well, we're just uh, going to have to see how it does. So what did you do with your Revo buggy? Because if you guys remember, he had the two-seater. Uh, it looked like this, but this is just like on steroids. I sold that buggy and I bought this frame. So you sold an entire buggy, fully running buggy, yeah, just for, a for just a rolling chassis, basically. Yeah. Wow. Had to put them on top. And you had to add. Wow. You see, guys? I mean, so, <laughs> wow. He sold an entire working buggy and it got him... A rolling chassis. That's good. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense to me, but okay, you know, that's you know what guys? That's the desert. That that is the name of the game in the desert. So there you have it guys. I don't know, do you think he's gonna keep up with the can am? You think you have a chance? Yeah. Okay. Bit. All right, a little bit. Well, but unfortunately this thing will not be ready till next season. There is a lot of work to do to this. I'll keep you guys updated and let you know the status of this and uh well hopefully uh we can get this thing. I don't know. What do you What do you think? Six month period? Yeah, I hope so. And uh, it'll be done. Hopefully. We're hoping the goal is six months. So I'll keep you guys updated and let you know what's going on with it. And you know, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I get a buggy or should I keep the Can Am? I really like the Can Am, but you know, after looking at this, I love these sand cars. I just, you know, biggest problem is like I said, where the hell am I going to put it? How am I going to fit in the toy hauler? Because, well, he's going to have to get a new trailer. And you're not even getting a toy. It's got to be an enclosed. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.